Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microtik Configuration Series. Today's topic is about configuring UIP tunnel in Microtik Router. UIP or Ethernet over IP tunneling is a Microtik Router was proprietary protocol that creates an Ethernet tunnel between two Microtik routers on top of an IP connection. The UIP tunnel may run over IP IP tunnel, PPP tunnel, or any other connection capable of transporting IP. In Microtik Wiki, it says when the bridging function of the router is enabled, all Ethernet traffic will be bridged just as if there is a physical Ethernet interface and cable between the two remote routers. Any protocol or services will pass through UIP tunnel. With UIP tunnel, you can possibly bridge LANs over internet or encrypted tunnels. So it is basically you are able to establish a switch port between two routers so that you can carry Ethernet frame across the UIP tunnel. It is very useful if you want to use the same subnet on both sides. Okay, let me show you the diagram. This is my head office router and this is the branch office router. So I want to use the local range, the same block in here over the internet cloud. So I'm going to show you how to configure it and for UIP. The first thing we need is layer 3 connectivity between our two sides. So these two sides has to be connected from internet service provider and both sides one IP should be reachable from each sides. So from the diagram you can see I have site A and site B and between them I have got provider reach router. If I show you in the lab this one both the C router got slash 31 IP from provider router and it's reachable between two routers by some routing mechanism. It is the primary condition to be able to ping each other's one IP. Okay now we configure UIP tunnel in both routers. Okay I will have to log into my router here from the site A head office router. Okay let me show you the IP address here. This is my one IP address and this one is my LAN IP address 192.168.1.1 which I would like to span across. I'll have to show you if we can ping to my remote end router. Okay, I'm getting ping response from my other end router one address. Now what we have to do is we have to go to the interface and select UIP tunnel, not to plus sign to add. In the name, we will type anything we would like. It gives itself a virtual MAC address which used to send Ethernet frame across. Okay, here local address is not mandatory, but remote address is very important. This remote address is actually the other end router's one address. Check my other end router one address 10.168.162.182. I'm sitting on this router now. Okay, remote address 10.182. This is actually the tunnel IP we want to connect to. The other important part is the tunnel ID. This is, it must be the same in both routers. We have a tunnel ID here. Now click apply. Okay. Okay, now let's configure on the other end router as well. We'll have to log into our other end router, which is branch office router. There's no local address. Go to the interface. And the UIP tunnel, click plus sign to add. You can see a virtual MAC address is already generated. You need to add any local address, but remote address, father and router, one IP address, which is head office public IP address, this one 10.168.162.14. And tunnel ID is the same for both routers, 501. Apply. Okay, you see our tunnel interface is up now. Both sides can see each other, but we are not able to pass an Ethernet frame yet. And if I go to the IP, the neighbor, you see I can see the other end UIP interface. Now from site A, we will span this IP range 192.168.1.1/24 across our UIP tunnel. In theory, we actually span Ethernet broadcast from Ether5 interface to other end router. Now we will aggregate LAN with tunnel. 
to do this we go to the bridge class center app give a name bridge Fine, okay so inside our bridge we assign our post to add as member post so let's add ether 5 in my bridge I interface UIP this one okay if I go to the interface list now you can see the tunnel it shows RS it will stay on RS state which we wanted as bridge port now we span our LAN across the tunnel and it should work from side B we have ether 5 as our EYB bridge now we log into our branch router create a bridge here as well bridge okay and the ports we add the member bridge the five the five from where we connect our lab PC to the router and then our YP tunnel interface I am okay that, yes it shows our assistant so from side B we have Ether 5 interface as our, as our EYP bridge. From here we have connected this to PC and we set it up as the same LAN block. I've already configured it in here. You can see I have configured from the same block 192.168.1.0 slash 24. I have put the IP address as 192.168.1.129 here. Okay, now we test our configuration by pinging workstation from one side to another. Okay, from here, I will ping in this PC, which is, if I go to this PC, just show IP. Okay, here it is 192.168.1.2. So from here, I will ping to this PC. yeah we're getting ping response from other end device so i'm sitting on a branch of his pc and i'm getting response from the head of his lan pc and if i go to the branch router go to the ip address you can see we don't have any ip configuration on ether 5 interface it's all over uip tunnel to span our lan range from site a to site b so basically we spend villain one across the tunnel without causing any issues so it's just simple as that we span our LAN across just by creating EYP tunnel on both routers creating bridge and adding the ports we wanted to span across we can do it on villain as well just add villain as EYP bridge member and it works just like it with EYP we will have both LAN from two remote routers in same broadcast domain so this PC's IP address are now in the same range from the head office and they can ping each other. So this is a simple configuration how you can configure UYP tunnel on MicroDIC route to span your LAN across a remote location. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe this channel for more videos.